Okay, neighbors, so last episode, we got into spring trends because of course, hey neighbor, not only do we wanna keep you up on the technical side of things, but we wanna keep you looking fly at all times, okay? So last episode, we talked about the braided ponytail look. Now, another spring trend is the, bra- oh wait, I do have a braided ponytail kinda right here, so you guys know I'm I'm up on trend, okay? I, yes. stay, up, I stay up on trend. But, yes. <laughs> but an even better trend that I think is better just because of convenience, but we're going to talk about that in the roundtable discussion, is the braided wig, okay? And here to help me talk about it is Raviana. Yes! Yes. (laughs) And of course, we have a viewer here. Welcome. Thank you. Please introduce yourself. Hey guys, my name is Balan. I am so glad to be here. Oh, thank you, Balan. Yes, Thanks Balan. for having thank me, Thank guys. you, and thank you for watching Hey Neighbor. We really, really appreciate it. Absolutely. So let's talk about braided wigs, mm-hmm. okay, and talk about this spring trend. First, I want to hear, like, your opinions on it. What do you think? It's a relief. I don't have to sit in the chair for God knows how long. I can wash my hair. And the tension, no tension and no pull on my hair so I can keep my edges. She sounds just like a, my home girl. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> See, okay. You're thinking about everything fully. I, I think it's a great idea. Mm-hmm. It, is it necessarily what will work best for me? I'm not sure. I'm very active. I run. I teach Zumba. And so I want the braids so that I can sweat and things like that. And that would be difficult in like an extra hat. However, mm. I do understand the convenience. I hate sitting for hours. Mm-hmm. And I mean, if I just want a cute summer or festival or spring look, mm-hmm. I think it's the way to go. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think that's a great point. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, braided wigs mm-hmm. makes perfect sense because, uh, you know, they, lately crochet hair, hair has been, be, been very popular. Mm-hmm. And the main reason why people like the crochet hair is because they want to have the braided look. Right. Or without the hours. Without the hours. Yes. You, know, they, you know, just make a feed in cornrow and then just uh, do the, the crochet, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But even that, actually, you are committed, semi-committed yes. until you take it off. Yes, mm. this is crochet. Uh, this, this is crochet, yeah. and I've been committed. Right. And then you <laughs> We're in a committed relationship. Right. right. I right. have commitment <laughs> issues, so right. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's perfect for Likewise. me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And for, with a braided wig already, I think you can just take it off at night and just do your regular shampoo or whatever case may be, and. Uh, next day you will have another fresh looking uh, braid. Exactly. Yeah. I, you guys know I love to switch up my style um, as much as possible so I think I really love the added convenience of this. And then too, you can also stay on trend. You can have the different colors. You can accessorize this, accessorize this just as you would um, your regular box braids and as you said without the tension. I personally after a long day, I want to take my hat off. Okay, let me <laughs> relax my scalp. You know, yes. I, I love love doing that um and again staying on trend so Chade wigs actually sent this Chade fashion actually sent this wig and it's super on trend super on point and i think it's perfect for the spring season not only the color but it's fun for like festivals concerts hanging out with your boo you want to be a new person every day yes. you know you can do yes. all of that and surprise, then surprise this wig <laughs> is by sensation now and i absolutely love this wig, love this wig. So what are your thoughts about this wig? It's cute. (laughs) Well, Travis named it Wanda. Yeah, that is Wanda. It's it's giving me like Moesha from Wakanda. Mm. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, what I wanted to mention about this wig is that you said that you work out and you do Zumba and things like that, and you were worried about it feeling heavy. Yeah. Look at the lace on this. It's so thin. Yes, it's breathable. It oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can def. It looks so natural even mm-hmm. just on my hands. Mm-hmm. So I can imagine on the scalp as well. Mm-hmm. You know what? Y'all might have made a believer out of me. <laughs> Look, you know, if, if Sensational wants to send me one, I'll, I'll test it out. <laughs> so I'll okay. test it out for class. Yeah, I think we should try it on Travis, actually. Oh. I think I think it will fit me right perfectly. Right? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, uh, I looked at it before the show, mm-hmm. and uh, there are a few parts as a professional. Mm-hmm. There are a few parts that I was quite impressed with. Number one... Uh, just like you mentioned, how they did the lace part. Yeah. Actually, mm-hmm. they have to actually plant a lot of, uh, it, ventilate a lot of hair in order to create 
uh, <coughs> the braid. Yeah. But actually, they add more as an extension, as if you would braid your extension onto it, right? Right. So I think oh. that was a pretty smart thing to do. Yeah. And then the other thing is, uh, if you look in the back, actually, it, there is a track. Actually, track hairs on the oh. knee. So what, what, what they did is actually they divided it into like a inch of a inch wide, one inch wide, mm -hmm. and then gathered them together to braid one strand. And then the next one is overlaying each other. So oh, wow. so even if you lift the hair, you oh, will wow. not see the. Uh, mm -hmm. That is awesome. Right? Yeah. So, that is really yeah, impressive. Because that was the one part that was difficult in the past. To yeah. Do, but oh, I yeah. Think they, uh, they actually achieved it really. Well, that yeah. looks really good. Yeah, and when so I natural. when I think about springtime hair, I think about <sighs> drop top weather. You know, mm -hmm. I want my wig blowing in the wind. Um, don't want it to look wiggy. I don't want the wind to blow up, and then you see and, and suddenly yeah. there's oh, some lace. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to see that. Yeah. So I think that these braided wigs really. I mean, wigs them in them in general have just like they blow my mind, you know. They like are this not one, especially. Wigs. Yeah, yeah they it's they not heavy. Yeah. It's light. Um, I'm able to customize it. I can even take these braids out if I want to wow. and rock a different look. Um, so, I'm all for the braid, braided wig trend. Even if you really look close up close, you cannot <laughs> tell if it is laced no. or it's a wig, right? No. It looks so natural. Right? Yes, Isn't and it? those baby hairs. Yeah, you know, I did okay. my own little but extra manipulation. Let me, let, me, let me tell you a little bit about uh, the 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 importance of that. Mm -hmm. When people people usually look at the lace, mm -hmm. they put it right up against their own hand yeah. like this yeah. Yeah. to understand this is see through. Yeah, that you can actually see your own uh, skin tone there and so on, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But thing is, ninety nine point of you know time you know percent of the times. The person who's wearing this wig will have the hair on her scalp. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So if true. let's say if she has the black hair on the knee, mm -hmm. then when you actually wear this on top of the black hair, the black hair will look the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then nobody has like that dark uh, scalp. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But if you look at uh, you know, like uh, the scalp area right now mm -hmm. as it is. Yeah. And then even if she has the, you know, Nichelle has the, the hair on the knees, right? Mm -hmm. You don't see that, but you see as if it is a continuation of her own skin, isn't it? It's amazing. Yeah. It is so beautiful. It's really natural. So yeah. that is difficult I to see. I laid it, Jade. I laid it for you. Yes. yes. <laughs> so it, is, it is not an easy task to achieve. No. It's precisely like that. So actually it matches with her skin tone and there's oh, no, beautiful. there's no, no, like, uh, you know, obvious mm -hmm. signs mm -hmm. or points, right? It's just, it flows. Thank you. And that is the importance. That is slight technique that people don't notice about. Mm -hmm. When they just look at the lace, they will not notice about. Mm -hmm. But there are lace that will mm -hmm. create that much of detail. Yeah. Wow. And yeah. that makes good wigs and not so good wigs. Yeah. 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 Notice that. Some so wait, African Americans <laughs> gave African braiders a bad rap. Right. That, that's what it's sounding that's what, like. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, this is the part. They brought the fine craftsmanship of yes. the braids, yeah. but they don't. They are not really great with the design aspect or Got it. artistic mm. aspect. Got yeah. it. But the American stylist, they may not have like it's you know skillful hands uh, mm -hmm. and uh, skills mm -hmm. like African braiders maybe, mm -hmm. but they have like the, the style, vision, yeah. the vision, yeah. 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 yeah, And then that's that's when they um, when American you know stylists actually brought their interest or their artistic vision or vi you know in the techniques into the braid mm -hmm. that's when all this actually changed mm -hmm. the styles like you have right now that's uh, just regular wig yeah it starts from the regular wig yeah mm -hmm. but then again even like for example at my um, my store store bella crown mm -hmm. uh we had sabrina mm -hmm. and, and she's african-american uh, stylist actually, mm -hmm. right so she used to work at the beauty store and selling the wigs. And there are some wig styles that are not selling well, right? Mm -hmm. So Sabrina will spend few, you know, like few minutes just break, make a cornrows like that mm -hmm. wow. with a regular <laughs> wig. Wow. And when she did that and display on the mannequin, actually, you know, person walks in and says, "Wow, I like that." Oh wow. So they are start buying it, right? Yeah. Wow. So actually, this style that you see, you know, obviously this is designed by the Chade Fashion. Yeah. But I don't necessarily want to say that it is designed by Chade Fashion, but it is designed by the average Jane mm. at you know 
working at the beauty store yeah. and then spending her time creating this little artsy you know work right. and then make a ponytail in the back up to so the cute. ball right yes, yes. You, you know chicken arms in the top and and then they, they, they this is average jane who yeah. create this whole look yeah. and that's what i that's one thing that i love about the whole spirit of this braided wig right now. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much again, Travis, for the wealth of information. I love the convenience of the wig, the versatility. You can have so much fun with it. You can ride in the drop top on the boat, okay? No, no hair showing, no track showing in the back. You can slay your braided wig. And if you are going to be slaying a braided wig, definitely tag us at Hey Neighbor Show. I think that's what it is, but we're going to tag it at the bottom. <laughs> hey, Neighbor Show. And we may feature you on our page. So let us know how you slay your braided wig trend. What? <laughs> you slay your braided you wig. I got it. Come on. <laughs> that's perfect. Okay.